What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another episode on the caddy. Finally going to attack the wing mirrors. Toran wing mirror conversion. I, uh, I've been putting it off a little bit. I know it's not going to be one of the nicest of jobs. There is a couple more other bits I want to do. Carpet the back, but that's not half as bad. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a bit fiddly. I've got the door card off. Let's get the wing mirror off and let's get straight into it. First of all, they're not the prettiest of wing mirrors. They're big, they're van-like. Um, I have got, if you've seen the earlier caddy build videos, I did have a Toran for spares for a donor. I took the wing mirrors off. It's got the indicators in the wing mirror. As I fitted the Toran wings, they had no cutout for the side repeater. I was going to cut the cutout and then thought I'll stick the wing mirrors on instead. Um, yeah, a lot better. I've already painted them black. I've got some nice smoked indicators to go in them and I believe they're the sequential ones but we'll find out. Anyway, let's get this wing mirror off. Door card's already off and someone has cut the wire on this wing mirror already so I haven't got to unplug it. Nice and easy. Be easy to drop the bolts inside the door on this. That'd be a pain to get them out. Une. There is meant to be three bolts but there's only two on it. Easier for stripping apart, but I'll find them to go in. And just like that. Cut them off, stick them on, right? Let's get the camera set up. Let's get a bit of a table set up. And let's, uh, let's just get straight into it. So, I have already done one. I say I've done one. I've done the hard part. This took me about three hours, maybe a little more. I was being picky, wanted it to sit perfect. I've worked out a plan. Now let's see if I can do this one in at least half the time. I'm gonna cut it off as close to the caddy back plate as possible. We're not using none of the mirror. We're using this outer plastic and this inner aluminium bit. Um, that one looks a little bit cross-threaded. I'll have to tap that. Let's cut this off as tight as I can. That one I used an air saw and it took ages. I'm hoping I can do this one a bit quicker. Cut it in half. Wasn't too bad with the, uh, with the hacksaw actually. Probably spent five minutes doing it. It's a bit awkward to hold but yeah. We've got it relatively close. I will need to shave that down so it's properly flat. We're done with that. Now what I plan to do is leave as much of this cross brace as possible and then make that fit in through there. So that cross and that circle, I'm gonna end up cutting into this across so then they merge together because I want some of this metal to protrude through that so then we can alley weld it together. I have seen someone else glue these together and it held completely fine. I've got an alley welder, a crap one, you'll see in a bit, so I'm gonna use it. The glue works, the glue works. I'm gonna weld it. Anyway, we're gonna cut that little section out to so open that into a rectangle. And then with the Toran wing mirror, I'm gonna cut it just below this rivet. There's a plastic rivet there. I'm gonna cut that off. So then all we're left with is this little piece here. But what I am gonna do, I'm gonna sliver through it and just do the aluminium. And then I'm gonna cut the plastic further back because we want the plastic to fill as much as that hole as possible. Let's have a go. So we've cut that off and I did leave plenty of plastic enough to fill most of the hole in there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this up with the belt sander. Reason I've done that one first off camera is because I like to know at least half of what I'm doing before I start talking about something. I think I worked out a plan with that and we've got it relatively straight. That is the bolt hole on the Toran, that is the bolt hole for the caddy. 
my plan on that one was to leave this in place obviously because that's for the caddy and that bolt hole sits just below the caddy one but is dead in line with it now we've got straight edges here both sides and we've got straight edges here both sides as long as they are square to each other your wing mirror isn't sat skew width I'm going to spend maybe half hour an hour now with grinders belt sanders and stuff and I'm going to make this fit in there so I'm going to cut across that cross there I'm going to cut that into that with the grinder machine some of that back well I say machine I mean hit it with the grinder in a bit maybe about 10 mil in and when I'm finished on the time lapse those two will be sat and married together hopefully square let's get straight on with the time lapse Well, that didn't take a while I think it took about half hour maybe 40 minutes in total um, happy with that I've cut the cross into the back of the the new wing mirror I've ground loads away grinders belt sander die grinder now that fits literally in there absolutely perfect um, the lines are straight with the sides so we know the wing mirror um, isn't skew width yeah, happy with that. Literally, I used every tool I had. It sits nice and flush. It's hard to hold. I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, let's have a look at my alley welder. And don't laugh if any of you alley welders out there. Um, it's all I have. I very rarely use it, but uh, I reckon it's better than glue. Let's have a butcher's. That is my alley welder. It's, uh, it's a MIG. Say bodges in goes into your normal welder my normal welder didn't have provisions for it so I literally drilled into it made it happen I have got pure argon gas which is there but literally with the argon or not it comes out like a splatter cannon so I'm gonna splatter cannon the shit out of this make sure it's stuck we'll have a look after I won't film this because it's not pretty but I'll show you what it looks like as promised, I said I'd let you have a look. And again, please, any welders, no laughing. I have literally splat cannoned the living shit out of that. It is not pretty, I know. It has penetrated, because it's burnt through on both sides. I have to do a little bit, wait for it to cool down, because I don't want to burn the wire. I put a bit of masking tape on there to uh, stop the plastic sheathing from melting. That's right, I've used paper masking tape to stop fire. Brilliant idea, eh? Anyway, that's enough looking at pigeon poo. I've got to grind it smooth a little bit. Let's fit it on. Hopefully it sits straight. Let's have a look. I've only lightly assembled it. You need to take that inner part out to get it to close all the way together. Now, I've put the indicator in. This is the old indicator. Because I've got the Toran door cards and I also fitted the Toran back plates and the Toran motors it's also got the Toran engine, the Toran clocks, everything Toran. Hopefully there's no coding to make these indicators work. Oh yeah! Check that out! Oh yes! Yeah, I'm really happy with that. And in my Golf, you can just see the end of it from when you're driving, and I can just see the end of it. Yeah, I'm well happy with that. Anyway, now, the last bit to do. I've already painted the covers, happy days. I need to plastic weld around this gap. And what I do, I get some stainless steel mesh, a hot soldering iron, and I just push the mesh in there. That'll hold it bit of filler, bit of primer, and then sat in black. They're not going red, that can't go red. Um, yeah, well happy with that. Let me get it stripped down. Let's get it back in there on the bench. It's gone past late already, past 10 o'clock. But at least need to start, don't I? 
Oh yeah. We're on with the plastic welding. I've already got a bit in place. And this is what it is. It's stainless steel mesh. And it's got holes that are about 1.5 mil. Bought it off eBay, lasts for ages. I'll cut strips and go round it all. Now this bit's gone cold, it's absolutely solid. There's no give to it at all. And what the idea is, I've got a bit of a posh soldering iron. You can use a normal one. And I'm literally pushing the mesh in the plastic. And then you can run over it to smooth it off. Hopefully you can see what's going on there. Don't need to push too hard. Just put it on for a second. You can just use fiberglasses and fillers and glues and all sorts. But this, I've repaired bumpers. I bought a bumper once, Audi A4 bumper. Um, it wasn't an RS4, what was it? It was only one of 200 ever made. I can't remember what it was now. Um, and the bumper turned up in pieces, in a box, like a puzzle. And I literally plastic welded, stuck it back together like this, and it never broke again. Now that is absolutely solid. Need to make sure it's all below the surface. I'm gonna go all the way round, then I'll lightly go over that with a sander, smooth it off. Then a skimmer filler, we make it all pretty. I will cut some bits of plastic to go in this void and any big gaps out of the spare bits of plastic I've got. Fiberglass maybe on the back for a bit of strength, but probably mostly filler. And that is absolutely solid. Yeah, really happy with that. Gonna go all the way around it, do both. This video will roll on till tomorrow, but it's only at the snap of the fingers for you guys. So, it is the following day. We've got all the plastic welding done. That's on the outside. I did put some on the inside, filled the gaps up, a little bit of super glue and activator in a few areas that I couldn't get to. Just need to get some filler on it. Just like that one, not very pretty. Uh, yeah, a little bit more to do, but we're nearly there. All in primer. Two skims of filler, rubbed down with 80 grit, then finished off the filler with 240, nice and smooth. I did get them in primer, I didn't film that. Um, bit up against it, this video goes out tomorrow. Need to paint them tonight, fit them in the morning, then take the end shot, upload the video, all for tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna rub these down, 500 on the sander, and then a wet 800 to go around the edges. I will show you a bit of painting. I've got to hold them whilst painting them and then prop them up. But anyway, primer's dry, let's tickle them off, let's hang them up, let's get some paint on them. All rubbed down, 500, soft pad on the edges and in the small bits, happy days. As I say, video's going out tomorrow, it's Christmas Eve tomorrow, got to take the missus shopping in 45 minutes, got to get these painted, stick them in front of the heater for half hour, they'll be nice and hard, ready for tomorrow to fit. Anyway, uh, laying in bed last night, I thought I can't just sat in black them. I've got gloss black wheels, gloss black grill, and gloss black mouldings down the edge of the door. So they've got to be gloss black. Added a little extra time on my day, because I two pack primed them rather than aerosol. Got to wait for them to dry. But anyway, gloss black. Gonna put two coats of black base on, two coats of clear. Um, unfortunately, I have to hold them, but I can get round them quite nicely, and then rest them down. Not the best way to paint. Also, we're in ear painting, because the other paint booth I use, he's busy, um, so I've got to do it in here. Little bit of overspray on stuff, I've moved the important stuff, it's fine. We turn the pressure down, it'll all be good. Let's get straight on to painting, because I'm looking forward to seeing what they look like.
finally all done. I am really happy with them. Loving the sequential indicators on there. Back plates have come out nice, look good in black. They go with the door mouldings, the wheels, and the grills of gloss black. I still want to black out the chrome bits on the front. But yeah, really happy with those. They look super suave. Plugged in and all work first time. The electric mirrors all work nicely. Left, right, happy days. I did probably spend maybe 10 hours in total on them. I thought it was going to be a bit of a fiddly job, and it was, but the payoff and reward is absolutely worth it. Really happy with that. That is the last headache job to do on the caddy. Next will be the ply lining. Yeah, um, really happy with how it's looking. Giving it a quick wash for the last final shot. I've been using a different motor for a couple of days while I had the wing mirrors off, so it'd be nice to get back in the van. As I say, it did take a while to get them done, but really happy with how they look. Van's starting to get where I want it to be. Just got to do the ply lining. Yeah, took a while, but we got there in the end. If you found the video useful, click the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.